changes everything. If either partner tap out of the challenge, both will be eliminated. The stakes here are so high that there's no room for being friendly. You want to tell me what happened? You understand that, right? People change when you put money in front of them. You got to watch your back for not just the animals, but for the other survivalists. Nobody's ever been eliminated from a naked or afraid. There is a lot of racing against the clock and racing against each other. I didn't come here to get a participation award. I'm here to win. Yeah! I don't trust anybody. Naked or afraid, last one standing. Competition starts Sunday, May 7th on Discovery. Sarah, Matt, good morning. And, uh, how Hi, are you? I'm doing good, man. Thank you so much for joining me to talk about Last One Standing, Naked and Afraid, one of my favorite shows. I'm so excited about this new series. And uh, man, it's going to be off the hook. I know it is. And, and Sarah, what does it take to be Naked and Afraid All-Star? You're not there to make friends, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, little column A, little column B. If I make friends along the way, that's great. But that's not my main goal of being there. <laughs> and Matt, what's it going to take to claim the title prize uh, of a hundred thousand dollars and last one standing uh, could it could anything prepare you for what lies await for this show you know to to be the last one standing you're not just going to have to be necessarily the best but you're going to have to be the best in that situation and uh and because of that it's a uh, it's every every day is going to be at the edge of your survival and to, you know to continue make it you can't make mistakes you can't you know you can't let someone step ahead and uh, otherwise you may find yourself not the last one. And Sarah, how punishing is the Oribe Gorge in South Africa? Is it just one of the most challenging places on earth? Um, It's definitely up there. Um, It's a beautiful location, but deceptively so. You know, there is danger around every corner in that area. And Matt, 45 days survival. Can fans expect challenges we haven't seen before? Because teams must earn their tools this time, right? You didn't bring them along. Yeah, so this time it's a whole different ball game. This time you start with nothing, <laughs> nothing but your necklace and a satchel. It uh, that is, so you have to earn every survival tool by finding it, navigating. It's going to test your skills in navigation, test your skills in gameplay to figure out how to get extra items. And because of that, forty-five days, you know, you have a while. Um, you you don't if you don't find what you need, it's going to be a tough way to survive. But this time, twenty-one days. In the beginning, you're actually tied to your partner. And uh, and if your partner decides to leave, you have to be taken out as well. And it is it is at the edge. I mean, it blew our minds out there. And uh, and I'll tell you what, it uh, every day was a new adventure. And Sarah, you know, being an all-star for Naked and Afraid, what is the most asked fan question that, that's come across? <laughs> that's a really good question, actually, because it's always different just depending on who it is you're talking to. But um, currently people are asking me, did you make it? And I can't say you're going to have to tune in to find out. <laughs> and Matt, you know, I, I just I have trouble getting naked just by myself, you know, so did you over how do you overcome something like that, especially for a worldwide audience? <laughs> Leah, without a doubt, to step out but naked in an environment you've never been to is like that dream you've had as a when you were a kid where you like walk into school naked it is a uh, it is a odd reality that only gets uh, more real by the moment because being naked you you start to not care that you're that you're naked that you're uh, that you're naked around people i should say but what you really do care is that you're naked in a outnumbered world of bugs yeah <laughs> I was going to say, Sarah, you know, do you have incredible support from your friends and family? Do they cheer you on? Oh, 100%, without a doubt. I have some of the best friends and amazing family in the world. And Matt, finally, it, would you do it all over again? <laughs> you know, I have done um, eight of these challenges through the years. So for me, it uh, if it gives me a, just the tiniest glimmer to inspire someone, it uh, I'm going to take myself and throw it into the worst. And uh, so for me, I'm I know no end. And you too, Sarah, would you do it all over again? Keep going? It's honestly addictive. Um, I don't <laughs> know if I should unpack that in therapy, but um, <laughs> I love doing these challenges. and That's all there is to it. Well, the next challenge has to be in Las Vegas, because I think Naked and Afraid here on the Las Vegas Strip would be a pretty interesting show. <laughs> I could agree with that, yes. Maybe naked, you may be afraid. <laughs>
<laughs> well, thank you both for joining me this morning. I can't wait to see it. And I know my family and my friends, we are huge fans of this series. So I can't wait to see it. And thanks for joining me this morning. Let's talk again soon. Thank you. Definitely. This thanks Sunday on Discovery is going to be wild. <laughs>